the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it really is your alternator that's not working. And to do that, you have to get the engine, oh, to turn on. So, jump start your car and then get your digital voltmeter out. These things are about 15 bucks. You set it on DC voltage, about 20. We set this on. Put the red one, put the red wire, the black one to the black. And if your bad, if your charging system is working, this will read about 13 and a half volts um, or more. You might want to rev the, you might have to rev the engine a little bit to get it to do that. I was revving the engine to see if it can pump up the alternator to put out 13 and a half, but it's not doing it. So. It means it's failing, and there's kind of a burnt smell coming out of the engine right now. Scratch and sniff. If we had scratch and sniff video, you could smell the alternator burning right now. The alternator produces all the electricity for your car. It recharges the battery, it runs the stereo, it runs all the electronics for your engine. All right, so we have to take the alternator out and go down to the auto parts store. That's the best way. If you just go down there and say I need an alternator, there's sometimes there's different alternators for one model of car depending on the accessory package that was in the car. Oh, you mean like you tried already? Right, like I already went down there and I said you need to bring the alternator down. It's Doggerama here. First thing you do before you're going to work on anything electronic in your car is disconnect the battery. So, this is the red wire. That's usually the hot side of your electronic system. Take that. Disconnect it. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? You gotta throw it further than me. There's five of them here, it's nuts. All right, alternator is here. This that is, belt? this belt is, I call it a unit belt. I, people call it different things, but there's one belt that runs everything on the engine. It runs your air, your air conditioning, your power steering, uh, an air pump if you have one on here, your alternator, and the water pump. And the great thing about newer cars um, is they have what's called a belt tensioner. It, it used to be, if you ever worked on an older car, you'd have to like cinch up the alternator to tighten all the belts. And now they just have this spring-loaded pulley here, which is really cool. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't yeah. hurt to have a manual, by the way. Is that the piece of paper you needed? This is. Before you take this belt off, you should make a diagram of how the belt wraps around all the pulleys, okay? Learn from experience. That's the power steering. This grocery list on his hand. That's my auto parts list. This is modern art. Anyway, it's really helpful to have a diagram. Uh, you, uh, so, you know, I always say take cell phone pictures of what you're doing, but I don't think the cell phone will get down in there, so. Don't lose this. Don't let the dog eat it. This is called a breaker bar. It's basically, it'll it accept, uh, you know, your ratcheting sockets, but it doesn't have a ratchet on it, so you can put more, basically more torque on it. So I'm going to use a breaker bar, go in here, I'm going to pull that back, and then I'm going to slip this belt off of here, like that. So we've re loosened the tension here and taken the belt off of there. Very nice. Now, disconnect all the wires that are going to the alternator. Bring the glove with you. This one hurt a bit. Bolt C's after they've been connected for a really long time. You mean they get stuck? Yeah, like that. That's fairly new. So, okay. Now there's one underneath that we have to get to, which might be a little trickier. Cheater pipe. If you're if you're needing some extra leverage on a bolt that you're trying to get off, you've got a breaker bar or something like this, and you can put this on it, and you've extended your leverage, your turn even more. So this one's a little, little big, but this goes on here. Wow, that one's on there. Time to drink beer. I've been gone for a few minutes and I came back. Calamity. 
That's a snapped bolt. Uh oh. Which means Super seized. the rest of the bolt is in the bottom of the alternator in the uh, mounting bracket. Down in there. See you in a few hours. Uh, a couple weeks. Okay, we've had to do a couple of things. We uh, went to the rental store and we rented a right angle drill. We've disconnected the radiator hoses, loosened the cowling, and now we gotta take the radiator out. In case you're wondering what a radiator does, this cools your engine. The hot water from your engine comes in here, goes through these coils, a radiator, fan blows on them, goes out the bottom, cool water. So the idea here is a right angle drill, brand new drill bit. We're gonna drill out the bolt so we can get this thing out. And the air conditioning condenser is keeping us from getting the drill into the bolt hole. All right. Time for plan B. Uh-oh. So I went downstairs and I cut the back end off the drill bit. I was really surprised I could do that with a grinder, by the way. So I'm gonna pop this in and see if we can make it work. Okay, so I went online to see if other people had the same problem. And I've come to learn that uh, there's about only one way to get this thing off right now, and that's to use this. All right, let's go. Okay, it's out. All right. One more piece of the puzzle out. Now, we gotta get that thing out. All right, look. Look. This is an acetylene torch. Finally. This is when you, uh, you call up your neighbor and you ask if you can borrow his torch, and he says yes. So Ooh. that was very nice of him. Yeah. So we're gonna heat up that bolt, and uh, we will remove it. Dog, stand back. <laughs> All right, if you don't know what you're doing with a settling torch, don't use it, okay? And always wear your safety glasses, okay? Or else you'll burn your eyes out, which is a bad thing. You having a cookie break? Mint Milano solve everything. I wish that were true. <laughs> then you would be very, very healed. Yeah, I wouldn't have to take those prescriptions. <laughs> so, I almost melted the bracket off with the cutting torch. And I had this kind of duh epiphany moment where the bolt is stuck in the bracket, right? Yeah. Take the bracket out. Hey, look at this. Is that the bracket? This is the alternator bracket. All right. And where's the bolt? Here's the bolt. Where's the, oh. That's why I almost, I melted it. Wow. So we're gonna take this downstairs and put it on drill press and drill out the bolt. It's warmer inside. <laughs> Three bolts. Out like that. I wonder if they've noticed that when the show started, it was like, July. <laughs> and today it's nearly, well, November. it's mid-October. <laughs> Alright, let's go drill this out. Uh, 
This is anti-seize compound that I put on all the nuts and bolts when I'm putting something back together on the car. That way, the next time someone has to take it out, it's not going to seize up on them. All right, there you go. It usually doesn't take this long to do this. Just everything that could go wrong went wrong this time, all right? So this is really simple. It's usually just two or three bolts. It comes out. You put a new alternator in, and boom, you're ready to go. But remember, check your battery. Use your voltmeter. See what's going on. If there's smoke coming out of the alternator, it's probably broken. So more cool stuff at GardenFork.tv, our site. Bunch of videos, bunch of how-tos, cooking, gardening, car repair, that kind of thing. All right, have a great day. I'll see you later.